Assalamu alaikum, dear students, this is me, Ati Ghemad. Today we are going to study the topic uh, significance of mitosis. In the previous lecture, we have studied the phases of mitosis and uh, we have completed the mitosis topic, the various phases of mitosis. Today uh, we are going to study the significance of mitosis. Significance means importance. So today we are going to study what is the importance of mitosis. Importance of mitosis is the maintenance of chromosomal set. That is each daughter cell receives chromosomes that are alike in composition and equal in number to the chromosome of parent cell. This is one of the major importance of mitosis that uh, through the process of mitosis the chromosomal set is maintained. The daughter cells receive the same number and same chemical uh, composition of chromosomes as that of parent. Suppose we take example of human cells. So the human somatic cells divide through the process of mitosis. In human cells there are 46 chromosomes. Whenever a human cell divides through the process of mitosis, so two new daughter cells are formed. So the daughter cells will also have the same 46 number of chromosomes and uh, those uh, 46 chromosomes will have the same chemical composition the same number and uh, same kind of genes as that of the parent cell. So this is the major importance of the mitosis. We will move towards the teaching points. Mitosis plays the following significant roles in the life of an organism. Growth and development, number one, number A growth and development. The number of cells within an organism increase by mitosis. New cells are produced by mitosis. This is the basis of growth and development of a multicellular body from a single cell that is zygote. Now mitosis play important role in the growth and development of an organism. Whenever the sperm and egg combines that is called fertilization. After fertilization, the zygote is formed. The zygote divide through the process of mitosis and uh, form two cells, then four cells, then eight cells. And uh, the same process continues through the division process. The zygote uh, divides and re-divides and uh, form embryo. The embryo then divides further to form various organs and uh, the organs collectively form organism and uh, the process of mitosis uh, uh, is still continued throughout the life of an organism. The uh, increase in size and increase in length of organism that is based on mitosis. So mitosis is uh, basically uh, the process through which growth and development occurs. The second importance that is repair of worn out parts. When we brush our teeth and rinse our uh, mouth, hundreds of dead and worn out cheek cells are being shed. These dead cells are constantly being replaced by mitosis. Whenever we brush our teeth, so various cells are damaged. Similarly, in our mouth, various uh, cells become dead and they are present there. So whenever we brush our teeth and then we uh, wash our mouth, so uh, several damaged as well as dead cells are shed from our mouth. Those cells are continuously replaced through the process of mitosis. Similarly, in the skin and digestive tract of humans as well as other animals, various cells are constantly removed. 
various cells are constantly damaged and uh, they become dead and uh, they are constantly removed and uh, they are continuously replaced by the process of mitosis. Another importance of the mitosis is uh, asexual reproduction. Mitosis is a means of asexual reproduction. Many organisms reproduce asexually through cutting, grafting and budding process. Now, what is cutting? Cutting is a process of asexual reproduction which is usually applied in plants. In plants, a piece is uh, cut down from main uh, plant and that is grown in a moist soil. That uh, piece divide and redivide through the process of mitosis and uh, forms roots as well as uh, grow the shoot. So in this way a new plant is formed. So this is through the process of mitosis and this is asexual reproduction because six cells are not involved. In sexual reproduction sperm and egg these are involved. So that is sexual reproduction but this is asexual reproduction through the process of mitosis a new plant is formed through the process of cutting. Similarly, grafting is another process. In grafting process, uh, a piece, a branch or a stem part is cut down from uh, a plant which have very good qualities. Suppose uh, in fruits this process is applied. So those plants uh, which produce more fruits and uh, tasty fruits, so uh, their branches uh, or stem parts are cut down then they are attached with another plant which uh, do not produce uh, high quality fruits. So that part which is, which is attached with the low quality plant stem, uh, they, these two parts grow through the process of mitosis and they are sealed with each other and in this way a new plant is produced which will give uh, better quality fruits. So this is the process of grafting. A part is cut down uh, from a high quality plant that is attached with the low quality plant and uh, through the process of mitosis they are sealed with each other and a new plant is formed which will give uh, high quality fruits. The budding, the third process, it is, it is explained here in this example. For example, hydra reproduce asexually by budding. The cells at the surface of hydra undergoes mitosis and form a mass called bud. Mitosis continues in the cells of bud and it grows into a new individual. Hydra is basically an animal. Remember, it looks like a uh, uh, plant but it is an animal. It is found in water. So this uh, hydra, it is an animal, an aquatic animal, it uh, reproduces uh, asexually through the process of uh, mitosis. So from the surface of this hydra, this small bud is grown, it is uh, produced through the process of mitosis. The surface cell divide and redivide through the process of mitosis and this small outgrowth, this outgrowth, this is known as bud, this is formed in the next step this uh, uh, bud grows further and uh, again it grows further this is uh, a bud and now it grows further to form a new hydra and at the last step it is detached from the parent hydra and it falls into the water and it grows into a new individual into a new hydra so this is uh, asexual reproduction through the process of mitosis. Similarly, um, the same division mitosis occur during asexual reproduction, vegetative reproduction in vegetative parts, shoots and roots in flowering plants. In flowering plants, uh, in shoots and roots, the process of mitosis occurs through which uh, new parts are formed and those small parts then uh, grow asexually through the process of mitosis to form new plants. And uh, the last importance uh, of the mitosis is the regeneration process. It is the natural process of replacing or restoring damaged or missing cells 
or tissues or organs and even entire body parts to full function in plants and animals. Regeneration is a process in which uh, the various missing parts or damaged parts are restored, are regenerated, reproduced through the process of mitosis. For example, we will take the example of lizard. You people have observed uh, that uh, whenever the tail of a lizard is cut down, so in few days, the lizard regenerate through the process of mitosis and a new tail is formed. So this is basically through the process of regeneration and in this process basically mitosis occurs which uh, result in new tail formation. Regeneration of whole body from a piece of the body in Hydra. Uh, Hydra is an aquatic organism, it is an animal. Uh, Hydra basically uh, reproduce through the process uh, of uh, regeneration through the process of mitosis. Uh, if uh, the whole body of uh, a Hydra is lost but just one piece uh, remains, so that one piece can grow through the process of mitosis and through the process of mitotic division various cells are produced and new Hydra is produced through the process of regeneration. This is all about today's lecture. See you next time with new lecture. Take care. Allah Hafiz.